So let me ask you a question. Do you think all of your customers and products are profitable? I'm not so sure. Hi, this is Rob O'Byrne from Logistics Bureau, and I've been lucky enough over the last 20 years or so to look at profitability of customers and products across most industries, hundreds and hundreds of different companies. And there's a couple of interesting things I just want to point out to you. This might help you in your own organization. Let me just draw a chart here, and I'm not an artist, so put up with me here. And what we're going to look at is products and customers. And if we were to plot the profitability of your products and customers, what you'll probably find, and one of the challenges here, of course, is that most reporting systems don't report to the le this level of detail. But what you'll find is, I reckon, about 10% of your products and customers will be loss makers. You then get another big group, let's say around here, uh, and that'll be about 20%. And these are probably marginal. So we've got 30%, which will kind of break even or worse. Um, and then, okay, news gets a little bit better. Again, this is averaging, of course, across lots of different industries. You get about 60% uh, that are profitable. So the news is getting better. What do you think your number might be? And then right at the top here, we get about 10% that are highly profitable. Now, I'm talking about profit here, but if you're in a government organization or a not-for-profit, this sort of analysis is still really important because you want to be efficient, you want to be able to reduce your costs. Uh, obviously, in a commercial organization, what that means is that you can actually start to get more profitable. So it's really important that you understand this uh, from a supply chain perspective, particularly in your business. What are the costs that are attributable to servicing different products and different customers. Do you understand down at a customer and a product level the costs of servicing them? And it's absolutely important because we've got to identify these guys because we're not going to, some people make this mistake, they want to get rid of these customers or products. No, you want to start moving them up towards higher profitability and there are ways to do that. There are ways to do that. So let me ask you a couple of things. Um, if you find this useful, I'm more than happy to take this to the next level and talk about specific industries. I can give you some case studies there. So maybe just comment below and tell me what your industry is. So you might just say retail or industrial or something like that. Uh, and I'll see if I can show you how businesses in those industries take this information and then translate it uh, into more efficient supply chains to start moving everybody up that sort of profit curve. The other thing actually I'll mention is that if you're in Australia uh, towards the end of October, let me find a spot where I can write this, go and have a look at a website called 59things.com because that's going to be one of our free events. Uh, it's an all-day event. And one of the 59 things that I'm going to be talking about in a fair bit of detail is this. Understanding this profitability, some techniques to start shifting people up the curve, products and customers, uh, to make them more profitable, some case studies, so you'll understand it a lot more. So just jump onto that 59things.com. That event's going to be run in Melbourne and Sydney in Australia. Or if you're not in Australia, put your uh, industry below and I'll share some more information on following videos about how you can actually improve profitability in your industry. So let me just come back to that question right at the beginning. Do you think all your customers and products are profitable? I doubt it. This is a very conservative number. When I do this with companies uh, across most industries, this number can be 20 or 30%. This is a very conservative number, only 10% are loss making. I suggest you find out in your own business what that number is.